COVIMET PR Top Domain, Lighthouse Translation and Interpretation Services, Cape Air, and United Airlines. And we are all deeply grateful for your support. This historic event brings together for the sixth time in Heads Chronicles a remarkable amount of expert academicians to highlight the most, the most prominent opportunities to enhance Hispanic higher education through the savvy use of technology. This outstanding group of professionals creates an extraordinary synergy from which we hope you take advantage during this event. The HEADS Consortium is overly excited to have been able to attain for this event the presence of 27 out of 42 of its member institutions from Puerto Rico, the United States, and the United States. We also re uh, welcome attendees from other institutions and organizations who are interested on this topic as well. All of HEADS institutions are nationally known for being at the forefront of the integration of new technologies to serve its students and specifically the Hispanic community. This was confirmed through the, most, through the more than 20 proposals um, received from all member institutions to participate in this event. It will also be demonstrated through the insightful discussions and the main speaker presentation, which heads will be prese uh, presenting this morning. Now, as part of the welcoming remarks, we would like to introduce a very talented and risk-taking businesswoman that has been leading the heads, uh, uh, heads successful operations for the past 13 years. As the executive director of this consortium, after being appointed by the board of directors on January 2006, Jubelkis has, been, has taken the consortium through a 13-year journey of consistent evolution, expanding its membership, creating new services, and proposing new educational technology options for its constituents. Let's give a warm welcome to Jubelkis Montalvo, its executive director. Thank you, Lynn, and thank you. Good morning, everyone. Buenos dias. Uh, we are pleased that you accept our invitation and so proud to be able to organize this event one more uh, year for our members, collaborators, and peer organizations and institutions, despite uh, the earthquake and its consequences that you all know of, especially us. Thank you for all of you for your message, your emails, your calls, prayers, and thoughts during these difficult times. Especially, we truly appreciate the Executive Committee support who helped us decide to celebrate this event as scheduled. Definitely, this is another exciting best practices showcase for heads and its members, especially since this is an opportunity for academic leaders from member institutions to share their best knowledge and expertise. We hope that this will be an enriching opportunity for all of you. We greatly appreciate the ongoing support of our members, the collaboration of our corporate partners, and the consistent trust and guidance of the board of directors, its executive committee, the staff, especially from our host institution, and at others collaborators. Events like this are definitely a result of a team effort. As we continue to work together, we will continue to solidify our mission, focus on the transformation of teaching and learning through technology and the success of Hispanic students. Thank you again for joining us, and I hope this event gives you wonderful opportunities to network with other ski leaders and take away and take away important tools, resources, and lessons to continue enhancing your practice and providing new opportunities for Hispanic in a higher education. Enjoy and thank you so much. Have a good day. Now to continue with the welcoming remarks, please welcome President Manuel J. Fernos president of the Inter-American University, who kindly offered these outstanding facilities to hold the conference. Please welcome President Fernos. Thank you. 
to me. <laughs> well, good morning and a warm welcome from our Caribbean winter at the School of Law of Inter-American University of Puerto Rico. We would like to thank you for joining us at another edition of the HEADS Best Practices Showcase, where we gather to exchange ideas, experiences, and knowledge. But we also seek to create and develop new co collaboration opportunities. I am particularly humbled by the show of support that has made it possible for all of us to be here despite the current situation that has developed in the south and southwest part of the island these two pa past weeks. Technology is the means to aid in global problem solutions. It is a tool to expand educational outreach and it is a way to promote the growth of the creative spirit that characterizes a university student. Through the effective use of technology, higher education institutions can provide access and inclusion to the most vulnerable students and minorities. This is why it is imperative that institutions committed with success of its students' community work to create a consistent experience from the moment a student is recruited until he or she graduates and beyond. I would like to invite you to keep an open mind and an inquisitive, curious approach through the event. Talk to your fellow participants, ask questions to your speakers, and make the most out of your experience. Once again, Welcome to Puerto Rico. Welcome to Inter-American University. Welcome to HET. Good morning. Thank you, President Fernos. To conclude our, work, our welcome remarks, I would like to present the HET's chairman, Dr. Carlos Vargas Aburto, who was elected chair of the board of directors of the HET's consortium during the summer board meeting of June 2015. Please join me in welcoming to the stage Dr. Carlos Vargas Aburto, President, Southeast Missouri State University, and Chair of the Heads Board of Directors. Thank you, thank you. Uh, it's a pleasure for me here uh, to see you all here. Thank you very much for uh, experiencing the Caribbean winter in Puerto Rico. It's uh, wonderful to be able to say that. Uh, we are very pleased to be here. I am proud to bring uh, with me uh, three other members of, of Southeast Missouri State University. And uh, uh, I would like to also say, making reference to the uh, situation in Puerto Rico, that we, uh, uh, we are here uh, standing in solidarity with our brothers and sisters of this, of this wonderful place. And uh, uh, we're hoping that the uh, uh, tremors will subside. I personally have experienced a 7.5 uh, earthquake in Mexico City. Uh, some of you may remember that in 1985, and that was terrible. I was in the fifth floor of a building, and it lasted probably about a minute and a half or so, so it was uh, scary. But anyway, thank you very much. Uh, on, the, on behalf of the uh, Executive Committee of HETS, it really is a pleasure for me to, to welcome you. Uh, it is a pleasure for me to see those of you who uh, were able to make the trip to Puerto Rico uh, be here with us. Enjoy the rest of the uh, showcase. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Vargas. And finally, I would like to, I will also like to acknowledge the presence of all of you who have joined us this morning for this special event. A round of applause for yourselves, please. Thank you, thank you for being with us. And now we will continue with our special uh, presentation. The HEADS Consortium has elevated uh, collaboration to annual rank, bringing together higher education institutions from the United States 
Puerto Rico, Latin America, and representatives from the government, private, and academic sectors for the past 26 years. Also, HEDS has distinguished itself as a forefront organization in, in the integration of technology for the advancement of higher education and learning opportunities for the Hispanic community.